What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Lovers Pray. I hope you're having a blessed and a prosperous day. Smash that like, subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can get my videos as soon as I upload them. Um, this video is a reaction to a great press conference. Another one. We're getting spoiled, y'all. Falcon fans, man. Um, we got introduced to Zach Robinson, to Jimmy Lake, and... Um, reintroduced to Marquise Williams yesterday. Uh, for all of you that don't know, Marquise Williams was retained as our special teams coordinator uh, under Coach Heem and then uh, Zach Robertson was brought over from the Los Angeles Rams with Coach Heem and Jimmy Lake was brought over with Coach Heem from the Los Angeles Rams. And we got a chance to meet those guys yesterday and, and to talk to them uh, in person, the Falcons media got a chance to talk to them in an official press conference, uh, and I gotta say, I think it went really well. Um, talked to all three of those guys, and my, you know, a few little takeaways from that, and uh, I'm gonna let you go. The first thing I noticed, um, Coach Williams, you know, he was back with the Falcons. He was with Coach Arthur Smith. Um, he chose to come back. That speaks volumes. It speaks a lot when you're switching coaches. Coach Arthur Smith obviously had a bumpy exit, but um, Coach Marquise Williams passed up other opportunities to come back and coach with Coach Heem. I think it speaks volumes about uh, the type of man and the type of uh, coach that uh, the front office is expecting Coach Heen to be uh, for this franchise. So I thought that was amazing. Uh, also, as far as X's and O's go, and as far as goals for next season, uh, Coach Marquise Williams talked about, you know, uh, this past season kind of being a down year uh, in reference to uh, impact plays in special teams, okay? Uh, lost our punt returner, Avery Williams. Uh, he was out for the year with an injury. Um, so he talked about explosive plays, uh, the lack of explosive plays, uh, punt returns, turnover, uh, punt blocks, okay? Um, trying to get back to that next season. Trying to get back to that. Affecting the game, right? Um, not that the Falcons were bad or horrible, but they just didn't have those big time impact plays that you like to see from a great special teams unit. So we talked about getting back to that. Um, that's always great to hear. Um, special teams unit can flip field position. I mean, it can flip possession. It can score, you know. Um, so having a great special teams unit is definitely a plus. You want to be great in all three phases of football. After Coach Marquise Williams, we talked to Jimmy Lake. <laughs> Jimmy Lake, um, I like I like his demeanor. Um, I liked how he talked about how competitive he is. Um, I liked how he talked about the challenge of stopping a good offense is something that he relishes. Um, I like how well he spoke of Raheem Morris how he talked about how they met. Uh, he was actually expecting to get a job that Coach Raheem Morris was brought in for. And um, he talked about how Coach Raheem sat him down, talked to him like a man, um, and their relationship began to blossom from there. Uh, so you could tell how much respect and adm admiration he has for Coach Raheem Morris. Um, them working together on the defensive side of the football has been something they've been doing for you know the last few years with the Rams, and um, he comes in with the philosophy that uh, he he said it point blank. You know, we're gonna have to get some more impact players, um, but they want the defense. What what's already been built? He said the Falcons have a lot of great building blocks already. Uh, as far as like the DBs, he said, man, these DBs have been coached up so well. Um, Jerry Gray still rank, still retained with the staff. Uh, he's a guy that a lot of the players have uh, <coughs> so much admiration for. Uh, 
So it's great that we were able to keep Gary, Jerry Gray on the staff uh, to work with the DBs. Um, Jim Lake talked about, you know, keeping the scheme simple, but making it look uh, confusing to opposing offenses. The more simple you can keep the scheme, the faster your players can play. Okay, you obviously want your players to be physical. It's a physical football. It's a physical game, right? Football is a physical game. You got to be tough. You got to hit hard. Uh, taking the proper angles. Spoke about that. So it must be something that he saw on tape that he didn't like uh, because he did mention that a few times. Taking the proper angles. Okay. Um, so I like what I heard from Jimmy Lake. I mean, we'll see. Uh, if the defense is addressed during the draft, uh, draft heavy on defense, or are we looking to uh, address it in free agency more? I'm thinking we address defense a lot more in the in free agency. I'm thinking we go out and get one of the top two pass rushers in this free agent cycle. Uh, we needed a pass rusher for so long. Um, we also talked about what type of scheme we'll be running. Definitely said it's going to be a multiple scheme, but he said base 3-4. Okay, so uh, if you're looking at a base 3-4, we're going to need some outside linebackers that can scream off that edge, man. Uh, we got some big guys that we can count on in the trenches, uh, but we're going to need some, <coughs> some outside linebackers that can stand up and that can bend coming off that edge, so... Uh, Daniel Hunter's a four-three guy, so I don't think I don't know if he's going to be a good fit for a base three-four. But uh, if you're talking about a multiple system, I mean, he can come in on third downs and still, uh, you know, he can play nickel package or nine package, or you know, you bring in uh, more DBs on passing down. So uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see uh, what we do at free agency and in the draft addressing defense, but it definitely seems like he's looking to bring in some more talent, uh, not just to compete, but, you know, as starters. And then we got Zach Robinson, who everybody wanted to talk to, and I wanted to hear from him. Uh, guy looks so young. I mean, he looks so, uh, looks so, I mean, he just look innocent. He's, I mean, he's a 30 something years old. He's younger than me. Um, his first coordinating position uh, in the NFL. Uh, he talked about his uh, time as a teammate with Matt Stafford. He talked about his admiration for Matt Stafford. I mean, he was honestly, you think he might have a man crush on Matt Stafford, but uh, we could see why. I mean, Matt Stafford, just a great quarterback. Um, guy who won the Super Bowl with the Rams. Uh, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. I mean, he has all type of uh, you know passing yards, and he's he's up there on the all time career passing list. Uh, when asked about uh, what are you looking for in a quarterback, the first thing he says is how he throws the ball, and I think that's a bit different from some of the things you you hear from uh, different coordinators. Uh, you don't always how hear how he throws the ball being the number one trait, right? Sometimes you hear smart, right? I want a guy that's smart first. Uh, no, nah, he came out saying, you know, you want a guy that when you look on tape, like that's how you throw the football. And I appreciate him saying that because I think more than any, I mean, smarts is a part of it, but more than anything, you need to be able to spin that football. You need to be able to throw. You need to be able to make all the throws in the route tree. You need to be able to throw the out. You need to be able to throw a great deep ball. You need to be able to throw the slant. I mean, the dig. You've got to, the, the deep post, I mean, all of it. you got to be able to throw the ball. Stop Giving some of these guys opportunity just because you think they're nice guys and they're smart. Can they throw the football? That's what it boils down to. So thank you, Zach Robinson. Can they throw the football? That's what I'm looking for first. Uh, do I love the arm talent? And then from there, 
Uh, yes, of course they need to be smart. Uh, he talked about Matt Stafford's uh, relentless work ethic, right? Uh, how he diagnosed film, how he came into meetings, and he was almost coaching him up as he's the quarterback's coach, but Matt Stafford's almost coaching him up, and he's the coach. So, um, you know, he's looking for a quarterback with that type of work ethic. Um, he can, and all the things he learned from Sean McVay, uh, under Sean McVay, uh, as his quarterback's coach for the last few seasons. Um, I think, I think he's in a great position to be successful here in Atlanta. Um, it remains to be seen. I mean, we, <laughs> obviously we haven't played it, uh, down <laughs> with any of these coordinators, but talked about um, each game, you know, being a, there being a specific plan um, and making sure that the players understand what the game plan is. Um, so you, you think about a, a guy like Prime Bill Belichick um, and uh, Josh McDaniels, right? <laughs> Some games you're gonna run the ball 40 times. Some games you're gonna run the ball 15 times. Uh, so some games, you know, it, it's, it's just depending on matchups. And I think we have to get uh, back to diagnosing what the best matchup is against the defense week in and week out. Don't have a predetermined amount of you know I want to do this, I want to do that. I wanted to, I got to get my running back 40, you know, 30 touches. What's working and what's not? And let's go off of that, okay? What have we identified on film? Uh, what have we identified as the weaknesses of the defense that we're facing this week? And let's exploit that. Week in and week out, make those adjustments. Uh, so I'm hoping Zach Robinson is that type of guy. Uh, like I said, you know, we don't, we don't know. Uh, we don't know what he's going to look like. When we when we reach uh, late August and September, but uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Uh, definitely have some uh, brilliant minds that he was able to uh, you know pick, and I'm sure he will be still you know picking things, and picking their brains and whatnot. Uh, even as he's the offensive coordinator for the Falcons, and I'm sure those guys would be willing to. Um, share their wealth of knowledge with him uh he also talked about uh what do you think as a coach is your strength um and he said being able to build those relationships you know with uh for number one the quarterback right uh build those relationships it's important it is important to build relationships with the players i think that was one of the uh seemed to be one of the flaws of arthur smith if you ask me don't know a lot about his, you know, behind the scenes, uh, how his relationships were, but just on the surface, you didn't see him interacting and talking with his players on the sideline, and that was troubling, uh, week in and week out, um, and then the whole Bijan thing, when Bijan wasn't feeling well, um, so it, it's just, you, you gotta be a relationship guy, this is a relationship type of business, you, it's a people business, uh, you're working with people, not with robots. So you need a guy in there that knows how to deal with people, that knows how to communicate with people effectively. And I think Zach Robinson uh, has kind of shown in his limited time um, with his work with Matt Stafford, his work with Sean McVay, um, he's able to communicate very well and establish a great rapport uh, with the quarterbacks. So uh, hopefully, whichever quarterback we choose, he can continue that success. Um, I'm just excited. I just want to see what quarterback we're going to get. I can't wait. Um, so those are my takeaways uh, from the press conference. Had common themes on both sides of the ball. Uh, both coordinators talked about a fast, uh, physical, um, smart uh, style of you know play for offense and for defense. So, you know, that's nothing different than what we hear all the time. But uh, the proof is, and what, you know, the uh, 
product we put on the field. So let me know what you think in the comment section. I will uh, leave the description. I will leave the link in the description. Uh, you can watch that press conference yourself. Or if you just want to take my word for it. And let me know what you think of uh, what those gentlemen were talking about. Uh, are you more excited offensively or defensively? Are you more concerned offensively or defensively? Um, do you think those guys were good hires? Do you think those guys were not good hires? Which one do you think was the best hire? And um, if you have predictions, you know, uh, we had a top 10 defense last season. Uh, our offense struggled. Do you think this is an automatic upgrade for our offense with Zach Robinson? Let me know in the comment section. It's your boy, let us pray. I hope you're having a blessed and a prosperous day. Tell those that you love that you love them while you can. Peace, happy Thursday, and I'm out.